Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we're going to create a login page for Windows Forms or Windows Forms application using the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and like the video for others to also look at it. Yeah. So as you can see, I've got a sample created now. So we're going to create a very similar login page using the Windows Forms or Wind Forms. Yeah. So rather than just talking too much, let's get right into it. So to get us started, we're going to create a new project. So we come inside the file, we go to the start window. So we go to create a new project. And here on the language side, we select C sharp and and here we select desktop as well. Yeah. So once we do that, yeah, if we've got all the necessary components installed, yeah, you should get your Windows Forms. If you haven't, you can have a look at my video on getting started with WinForms application. Yeah. So we select the Windows Forms app, yeah. So this is a project template for creating a .NET Windows Forms application. Yeah. So we select it and we click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details. We're not going to look into that. So we're going to click on the next. So here, we click on the next again. So we're just going to wait for the project to create here. So I'm going to pause the video. OK, we have it created here. So right now, we've got our Windows form created here. So we're just going to get right into it. So we come inside the, the background color. We're just going to set our background color. We're, going, we're creating something similar to what I had. So this is our background color. So we scroll down and we change the title as well. So here the wind forms here. So we're going to make it login. Yeah. So as you can see, we've got this change to login. So we, we we scroll down to uh, the size, yeah? So the size, yeah, the first bit, we're just going to make it 703 and 400, yeah? So, so as you can see, it's, it's actually shown on the screen very nicely, yeah? So what we do next is we come inside the toolbox, yeah? And we select label. We put our label here. So we, we come here, we come back here, and we look at the text. So we, we're just going to put welcome to the login page. Yeah. So as you can see here, we've got it written nicely, welcome to login page. So we come inside uh, the font. So we click here. So this will actually open. So we change the font size to 15 to make it a bit bigger. Or uh, we just change it to 15. Yeah. And we click OK. So this will actually make it bigger. And we look for the align, the text align, yeah. So the text align, we click on it. And we set it to the top middle. So this will be very it will be inside the middle very nicely, yeah. So we click on the toolbox again, we look for our label, we grab a label here, we pull our label here, come inside again, grab another label, we pull it here so, so I'm just gonna make it nice. So here, the first bit, we're gonna change the test and make it a username. We select the next one and we're going to make it password. Yeah, so it's very nice. We just align it with the welcome. So here we're just going to change the font size to make it a bit bigger. So we click on the here and we set the font to like 14. Click OK. And we do the same for the other one.
we set it to 14 as well. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's very nice and neat. So what we do is come back inside the, the toolbox and we look for text box. So a text box, we put our text box here. And we look for another text box. We put our text box here. So we're just gonna make it nice. We're gonna make them to align nice and we're gonna expand it a bit. So as you can see, I've yeah, got very nice text boxes as well. So let's come, let's, first of all, we selected the username. So let's scroll down. So here, the name of the text box one, we're just gonna make it, username. We're gonna change the name to username and then, and then the password, text box two. To password. Okay. So as you can see, they're very nice and aligned cleanly. So we're gonna go inside the toolbox again and we grab our button. We grab one button here and we're gonna put it here. So this button we're gonna change the text. Uh, we're gonna name this one the login button. The name will be login. And we scroll back up. So the test, we change the test to login. Yeah, so, and then the test align there, yeah, we, we make it middle center. And then the four color, we're just gonna go take the background color. So the back color, we're gonna change the back color. We select here. Then we go inside uh, the system. I mean, the web, we click on the web and we scroll down and we select the line green. And the, the foreground or the four color, we, we make it white. And we come inside this bit here and we select bold. Yeah, so we come inside uh, the toolbox again and we select another button. So here, obviously, we're just gonna change the text as so well. We're gonna make this one cancel. And we come, we change the name as well. Change the name to cancel. So as you can see, it's very simple stuff we created here. Yeah. So what we do next is we click on the on the username and we scroll down. So the placeholder inside the placeholder. The, we put username. So this will actually reflect there. And then inside the password, we put password as well. Yeah. So this will show password and username as placeholder. Yeah. So here on the cancel button here, we scroll up and the back color, we select a different back color. So we select on the web bit here. And we change it to red and then the four color. Um, control light. Yeah, so it's make it nice. And obviously we make it bold as well. So as you can see, it's created a very simple login page. So what we do next is we handle the click um, the click event, yeah. So what we do is we double click on the button. So this will actually open the login click events here. So we're just gonna make some something very simple here. So we will say yeah. If 
uh, the username dot test is now empty. And password dot test is not empty. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna show a uh, message box. So we're just gonna write um login successful. So otherwise we're gonna put a message box again. Say please enter the correct username and password. Yeah, this is just for illustrational purpose only. So this is this is what we're only going to do. Okay, we're not going to handle the um, the event for the council page. So you can do that yourself, obviously. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to run it just to see what actually comes out of it. So as you can see, yeah, we've got a very simple login page. So we're just going to put something very simple user. Obviously, the password to we've not hidden it. So we're just going to make it pass. So it's still going to show. So we click on the, on the login and we get this login successful. Okay. So if we, if we don't have anything here, if we click the password, if we click login and there's nothing here, so as you can see, please enter the correct username and password. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave this video here. I hope it helped you to get you started in terms of creating a login page. So you can continue from here and play with it. So once again, please like the video and share it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.